Yo, I'm back. Excuse the um, exterior noise. There is someone mowing, or I don't know. Oh, it's off! <laughs> Thank God, good timing. All right, welcome back, guys, to my videos. I know I haven't filmed a lot. I really had nothing else to film, and I have no excuses, but now I'm back, and I'm ready to attack. I kind of wanted to do, not a monthly favorites, but something alongside, like, a, a mid-summer favorites, things I like, things that really help my skin. Um, so we'll call it that, a midsummer favorites. Um, so I just came back from LA and my skin has just been going bonkers from going in an airplane to waking up so early and sleeping very late. Um, just always like in sweat and like in the sun, in the swimming pool, going out, clubbing, all that stuff. All this stuff has really been bugging my skin and um, yeah, like... I've had a good remedy since then and honestly the thing you need to do is stick to it and always take care of your skin all the time. So I'm going to start with, I'm not going to do my whole skincare routine, I'm just going to show you the things that I've added, I've done extra that I love, um, skincare and makeup. So the first thing that I am in love with that has helped my skin so 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 much is the um professional microderm PMD um, yeah so that's this guy now if you've ever tried a microderm abrasion or a diamond microderm abrasion that stuff basically it's a machine that um oh sorry um, it takes away the dead skin on your face leaving your skin with new rejuvenated skin um, very flawless very dewy very clean and ready to go um, the only thing with that is if you do go to a spa or a salon that does it for you each session could cost between 150 200 plus depending on how fancy it is so I did that like two times it was amazing but you also get all the little perks like you're naked they massage you they make you feel good and you fall asleep but like hell no am I gonna spend 200 plus dollars on each session so when I found out about this guy yes I am behind the bandwagon on this everybody else probably knows about it but I was really um, skeptical on buying this guy just because it's like does it work will it ruin my skin will I have like boils coming out of my face because I did this the wrong way but I was like you know what whatever I'm gonna buy it it was 80 I had a coupon code at the same time. I can put it on the link down below. Um, got it in within a week, and damn, I tried it, and damn, it works. So if you really want this, get it. Basically, I'm not going to do, do so much in detail. It turns on, I don't have the pluggy thingy, but basically it just goes zzzz on the inside, and you want to hold it against your skin, and it's like a vacuum, so it goes zzzz. And you only want to go on top of the same spot like once or twice, nothing too much or else, you know, you're taking away too much like dead skin. And what's really great about this is it helps me, um, helps my skin re be really smooth and like one color and um, it does help prevent acne for me just because the dead dirty skin is sitting on top. So if I do this, uh, you know, every third day, um, it really is preventing all that stuff and pores and dirt and just ugliness that girls have to attend to on a daily basis so anyways this guy I really really love especially for summertime I don't want to wear a lot of makeup in the summer and you really got to get that skin to really like breathe and freshen up especially if you're going out in the Sun you're at work and it's really like gooey and you're at the beach so this one's really awesome I'll put a link down below for the website um, in case you want more information because I I'm just telling you how I feel the next thing I really, 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 really love in the summertime are primers and um, finishing sprays. Just because I don't want to wear too much makeup, but because it is hot and you're eating awesome ice cream and fish and chips and fries and pizzas and stuff like that, my face tends to get really, really greasy. Um, so the favorites that I have for right now are the Professional uh, by Benefit. This has been around for a while. Everybody loves this. But I only use this um, on my pores right here. Reason being is I don't really need it or anywhere around my face because that's the only place that I need the professional on my pores. Um, and I love it so much I don't want to waste it, so I only use it on that those areas. Um, that being said, the other areas that I have, so like my T zone, some of my cheeks, my eyelids, and stuff like that, I'm using what are you called? 
Cora's Mattifying Primer. It is a pomegranate kind of smell, but it's not really strong, kind of blends in. And it comes out like the color of your a skin tone color. Are you f okay? Not focusing, but it is skin tone color. It's really light and refreshing in a way. So when you put it on your skin, the makeup that you put on top of it is is not. It's not gonna feel like layery or cakey and stuff like that. So I really really like this. Um, the other stuff I used to use is um, mineral. No 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 no. Hourglass primer. That's really awesome too. Um, but I find that it's a little too much for the summertime because, you know, I want to be dewy and like. Ooh la la, her skin is gorgeous, not mad attack. And to go with that, I also like a finishing spray. I never use finishing spray in the winter time or in the fall, but in the summer I feel like I really really need it just because the moment I put on my makeup and I step out the door, it's gone. Like it just evaporated and went to makeup heaven. So I want it to live a little bit on my face. So I use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Spray. I'm using the tester or like the uh the smaller one because I don't need it a lot. I don't need it throughout the year. I definitely don't use it um, in fall winter which is most of the season here in Vancouver. So this one I just do like one, two, three, walk in it, kind of like have a little moment and yeah but this is really good because with a primer and your other primer and then your makeup and then this guy like you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong and it's really refreshing because you don't want to cake up your face because the whole point of summer is having beautiful like touchable like baby's butt face oh yeah ha 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 alright so that being said I don't want to wear a lot of makeup in the summertime but obviously you need to cover up some little areas and even your skin tone so on an everyday basis I'm using the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream dude so I'm using the Maybelline Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. It has a million and one things that it does for you. I'm not going to say them all. It has an SPF in it, which is awesome. And I honestly just use a little bit, put on my hand, and I use a makeup brush. Honestly, go one, two, three, four, and blend it in. If you had a pimple in the summertime, flaunt your pimple. Like, just, you know, we're human. We're normal. I'm not perfect. I got a pimple. This isn't meant to cover up your pimple. This is just meant to even up your skin tone and all the extra benefits that you could read on the back and go online for. But um, yeah, like it's not, oh my gosh, I'm going to cover every single part of my face and look flawless 100%. It's just for those days where you need to even up your skin tone, like be really fresh and clean. And yeah, I hate girls. Well, I don't hate girls. Like, I love you girls. But I just don't understand why you're going to go to the beach or like somewhere really summery and put a full face of makeup like imagine you're sweating and you have a little sweater and you just go oh my gosh it's so hot and you have like your, your face just like a smack dab on your sweater or towel or whatever like that's that's really embarrassing I just use this every day even when I go to work because I am always moving around and stuff I can't always check up on my makeup or on my face so I gotta make sure that is that but if you're using this guy every three days or four days or whatever you want to do your skin will look good and really refreshed so that way when you put this guy on it's like like oh I'm just not wearing any makeup cuz I'm awesome that being said I do have a foundation for you know you're going out at night or having a date or you just want to do a little something but again you don't want to be heavy cakey gross um, it's the hourglass immaculate liquid foundation nope sorry scratch Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free. Bam! That's what I use. Um, I don't know if you can see the consistency. It's really, um, it is just, it just blends. It's awesome. It feels like cashmere. And yeah, it smells good too. It smells like, like fancy. It smells like fancy. But yeah, I really like this one. Oof, I want it on my clothes. I really like it because it feels so light. It feels so powdery, matte fine powder. Um, but again, it's really light and it doesn't feel so heavy on your face. So you don't feel like you look like a clown when you're going out in the middle of the summer. Um, but that color is sand. So I'm very sandy. Um, but yeah, I really do recommend this. This is quite pricey. I think it's like around 60 or 50 but honestly, if you're looking for a good foundation for summertime or just a good foundation that doesn't make you look like you have foundation, 
this is really good so I do suggest you invest in a really good um, brand um, what I like to do Sephora has those things where they like they take a picture of your skin and they see what color is best for you and this type of um, this foundation was on there and I said you know what let's try it I love the hourglass primer let's give it a go I freaking loved it and I didn't care if it was 60 bucks yeah so I really recommend this guy it's awesome it's awesome under eye concealer brightener magic um, this is from the ipsy bag back in what did I say May or June I think June not July um, Ipsy bag I don't really find to be honest a lot of really good like good good stuff on Ipsy it's just nice to like add on to my collection that being said I do have two things from Ipsy here to show you but this guy is like it's awesome this is the boo-boo cover-up um, concealer and they did really well in the color for me and because it came in a bag and stuff um, but this stuff is actually really really um, I'm just gonna wait for the focus while I talk to you. This stuff is really, um, really strong. It's a little bit thick, which you know you don't want to put under your eyes because it's really heavy and cakey. But it does um, soften up, especially if you use your finger and use the warmth of your finger to really like put it into your skin or into especially those lines if you have little wrinkles on your eyes. It helps, and it's the only concealer that I've had that literally stays on. I find whenever I put a concealer on, I put the powder and everything, and then it, it's black. Like, I'm, did I put black concealer under my eyes? So for this, I really do like, I'll put the link below if it's still on the Ipsy website. If not, I'll try to find the Boo Boo cover up. Um, but this is really awesome. And it's great also if you do have little acne spots or little dark areas you wanna cover up. Like, I find the, the texture of this is, is great for any skin type. Um, let alone also for oily skin just because it will absorb really nicely so this I really really like along with that um, after I put on the under eye concealer I have to have to have to powder it because I do have little fine lines that it tends to build up in I'm not gonna open it because damn it is destroyed um, but it's the Mac prep and prime I'm not even gonna lift it up because I'm sure you already know what it is if not I'll put a link below it's just a very very fine powder the moment I got it it just it just dispersed in its little pan um, but it's it's still there it's I have a lot still it just won't stick together so if you guys know how to keep that from not happening please let me know because the powder no matter how much I like tap it in and like let it stay or whatever it just the next time I open it it's like poof it's it's fairy dust um, but that being said the fairy dust works very well with the boo boo concealer and just keeps it clean and one thing I do like about the two of those together is that when you put a foundation on and then you put the under eye concealer you don't want two different colors you don't want to look like you know this is like one eyeball and your eyeball ends here you want it to blend and look awesome so those colors work well and I find that the HD or sorry the prep and prime helps blend that as well how many times did I say as well eyeshadow this is eyeshadow now this is the second piece from the FC bag I think it's from maybe like June or July. It's called Pacifica in Natural Beauty item number duo one. I'm using it on my eyes right now. I don't think you can tell. It's it's nothing crazy, but that being said, it's great for the summertime. All right, so it has a light color, almost a champagne nude you could use all over your eyelid. And then this guy, which is a little bit darker, more bronzy and a little bit tan. I like to use that on my uh, crease line towards the end and then this all over. It really doesn't matter because they are quite um, like shimmery and translucent, but it's great for summertime just to add a little sparkle and pedazzle. Um, yeah, this is one of the things that I do like for my Ipsy bag that I actually use like on a daily basis when I feel I don't want to do too much. I just want mascara and eyeliner. Um, I'll put a link below on this guy as well. I haven't found the website for this. Like I have no idea what this brand is, but good job, Ipsy. Now, face. I have three. These are my last items, I think. So we're almost there, guys. I know I talk too much. I have three last face items. Um, one is the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette. I freaking love like, oh, I love, I love this. I love this. Um, it comes in, it comes with your whole, like, face thing. You have the bronzer, which is really awesome. It's really dark on my cheeks, but you really got to work that thing in there, and it blends really nicely. Uh, and then you have the, um, 
the blush. The blush is really um, dolled out, which is great for summertime. You don't want to look like a clown. Um, what I like is it really goes well with my skin tone, just because I'm a little bit darker this time around. Um, because you know I got a little tan. And then the highlight, I don't really use that highlight too, too, too much. Um, if I do, I kind of just put it like here, here, and on my nose. I don't really do anything crazy with it just because I'm not a highlight kind of girl. I'm going to show you another highlighter. Um, it's the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. I got this in the like 500 point pack from Sephora. It was freaking amazing. I haven't used any of that stuff, just this guy because it actually looks like a normal size product. But it is a highlighter. It's amazing. Like, wow, that's so cool. Um, but what I do like about it, it is a translucent, almost white tone, like, uh, you can't really see it, but, um, if you're going out at night, you don't want, you don't want to look like sparkles, you want to look like, like, like shimmer, not even, like a diluted shimmer. If you look like sparkles, it looks like you're like a fish with scales. If you look like sparkles, then you just look like Tinkerbell, but if you're a diluted sparkles, it's like a... Oh, girl, she has a really nice natural glow to her cheek. I don't know. That's kind of how I think. Um, my last product that I have, which I really, really love, which I got, and I am behind the bag wagon. Blah, 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 blah. I am behind the bag bandwagon? Bag wagon? What the hell am I saying? Anyways, this came out millions of years ago, and I was at the end of the train and finally decided to buy it. Um... Yeah, so it's the Hula Benefit Bronzer. It's a great color. It is a little bit darker than the Naked Flush. Um, what, I, what I like about this one is that there's no, there's no shimmer to it. So if I just did one line, I could blend that in. And it's really great for here, under my, under my nose, and of course on my temples. Alrighty, well that is the end of my midsummer favorites. These are all products that I love, I use every day. Help my skin, like, just be awesome as it can be and yeah I can't believe it's already halfway through summer it is sunny outside and I can't wait for tomorrow because I'm going to the beach and yeah um love thumbs up subscribe comment say hello something and I'll continue to give you some really funny dialogue videos all right bye guys see you later